What is up everyone? This is Mario here and we're going to be watching the Nintendo Direct on March 8th, 2018. And um yeah, this is this is it. So let's check it out. Hi everyone, the time has come for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi and I'll be your guide. I have lots of information to share about upcoming games for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Up first, some Nintendo 3DS headlines. Some headlines. It's the biggest collection in this microgame series. The latest in the oh, WarioWare Wario series games? is coming to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Which means, there's a new way to play Wario's strangely satisfying micro games. With classics and new additions, there are 300 micro games to I enjoy. I wish they wouldn't, making this the biggest entry wouldn't in the keep pumping out games for the 3DS. Like, Tilt the system. it has a great There's library, a but... We microphone. have a switch, you know. Only Wario could come up with this many control schemes. I will say the Wario fast. games are kind of fun. Is required for this one. I played them back in the day at a buddy's house. And dig that crazy action while it's I won't be buying this. Hey, that's for some sure. Some familiar characters are rocking new looks. This is the most jam-packed game in the series yet. Just look at that face. Even Wario can't contain his wicked grin. Wario Wear Gold. Wario Wear Gold. August third. Hmm. Get ready for pulse-pounding post-apocalyptic races and battles. Race down enemy grocks and rock them in battle to defend frontier villages. Dylan's... What? Yes, sir. Action meets tower defense in Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. Dead Heat Breakers. This time, the Red Flash himself, Dylan, will team up with your own animalized me character. Be strategic and use your whole team. What in tarnation? Your friends' me characters can join the team as gunners. Well, you'll need their help to face each wave of transforming. Is this monsters. like a multiplayer game? Who or what will you and Dylan get tangled up with? Never mind that. There's an enemy invasion to stop and a frontier in desperate need of some heroes. Like that game looks kind of cool. Again, why isn't it on the Switch? Full game, Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers rolls into Nintendo eShop on May Nintendo 24th. 3DS, May 24th. Are the brothers and Bowser still better together? Rose and Bowser still together. Nintendo DS classic Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is back for more gut-busting adventures. The Mario and Luigi Mario games and always seemed interesting to me. Finding a cure I, um, the blorbs, a disease threatening I all never really in the got into kingdom. them. But thanks to Fawful, both brothers have been sometime. devoured by Bowser, and so their journey takes them deep into the belly of the beast, leaving Bowser to scour the kingdom so for cure. So you're inside of the only way Bowser, is to change between the and, and that's Bowser. how you play the inside of him. The big bad guess? will even beef up for monstrous. It is kind of cool if you can do a boss battle king. sideways though. Take him down in this action-packed RPG. That's kind of cool. And uh oh. Looks like his boy wants Seems like a, the action. not a knockoff, but kind of like a spin on the, the other the Mario and Luigi game where you Jr. ended up being you were With Luigi, Mario I think, Luigi, and you were inside Bowser's of Mario, or vice versa. Plus Bowser Jr.'s journey launches in 2019. 2019. Why are you showing it to Here's us now? The scoop on Detective Pikachu. Detective plus Pikachu. A new amiibo. Something about mm -mm. this Pikachu is a Why? little different. He's gruff. You agree with me, don't you? Runs his mouth. Hey, don't boss me around. Like that's coffee. Pikachu's voice. Is as delicious as ever. And no one knows why. <sighs> Welcome to Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon usually live in harmony. But recently, Those little, Pokemon uh, have been cinematic scenes are pretty cool. Running amok. There's a fake Luckily, alibi. a boy named Tim and Detective Pikachu are on the case, it's facing each mystery head-on. Quick attack! Oh, oh, oh. How was that? Did I do it? As of today, the game is available for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Yikes. If you're someone that likes Detective Pikachu, let me know why you like it, because 
Keep your eyes I just don't see the appeal in that. Detective Pikachu Amiibo like, has figure, his voice always been like day. that? That mysterious mansion has reappeared Luigi's in the mansion. Nintendo 3DS remake. Mm, that's kind of cool. Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS. Nintendo Game this would have been Luigi's awesome Mansion on the Switch has been again for Nintendo 3DS. Fans of the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon game can now explore the original mansion where Mario went missing. Luigi's something of a I feel like they're cat. really just These pushing on um, and traps are keeping no the 3DS alive or milking it for as long Besides, as humanly possible. The mansion's map will be displayed on the bottom screen. If you work up the courage, fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new boss rush mode. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS launches this year. This year. <laughs> That's all for Nintendo 3DS. I guess Luigi's Mansion is cool. But so far, wish it was so on the good. Switch. Well, let's keep the headlines coming. It's time for Nintendo Switch. There we go. Kirby can even make oh, friends the Kirby with those game? characters? Played the demo, it was legit. Kirby Star Allies it looks nice too. Launches Played on handheld mode, so it looks better in TV mode. You'll reach dream palaces where, surprise, even fan favorite legacy characters can become Kirby's friends. Well, dream friends anyway. When you're saving the world, it's nice to have some heavy hitters on your side. Even the likes of King Dedede, Meta Knight, and Bandana Waddle Dee. Eventually, yeah, that game's more gonna be dream cool. friends will be added to the game via free updates after launch. The first update will include Rick, Kine, and Koo. Marks. Well, it's the and friends Gooey. from all the other uh, games. It's like a dream come true to bring this ragtag crew of characters together from across the Kirby series. Kirby Star Allies launches on Nintendo Switch March 16th, and the first free update will be available March 28th. Oh yeah, a quick reminder, a free demo is available now in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. What else are friends for? The Kirby's gonna be good. An epic tale returns with new artistic touches. Okami, Okami the HD. Adventure in classical Japanese Dude, Okami's style, been released rises so again many in times already. Version. To save the land from a terrible curse, the legendary Okami Amaterasu was resurrected, setting off on a quest with the wandering artist Isu. Overcome challenges using the power of the gods, the celestial brush. With mere brush strokes, you can make a variety of miracles come to fruition. In the Nintendo Switch version, use touchscreen control in handheld mode, or Use the Joy-Con controller's motion controls in TV mode or tabletop mode. Both methods offer an intuitive way to solve puzzles and defeat your kind of like um, I think Okami was out on the, on the on the Wii. I guess kind of like that, huh? Do the motion controls and monsters stuff. to discover what awaits at your journey's end. Okami HD launches on Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch this summer. This summer, it's already on PS4 right now. And on Xbox Eat up for like and 15 bucks, sushi. I think. On Nintendo Switch? An adventure unlike any other. With conveyor belt sushi action, it's Sushi Striker. Sushi the Striker, way of the way of Sushi. The story takes place after the bitter sushi struggles. Raised in a world where sushi is forbidden, Musashi must wage all out conveyor belt sushi battles to defeat the Empire and topple its sushi monopoly. The gameplay is deep, but the basics are simple. Just eat more and more sushi to pile up plates of matching colors on a table. It's like a puzzle then game. Throw them all at your opponent. Mix up your strategies to crush your enemies. If you manage to pull off a special yeah, move that. created by one of your sushi looks kind of cool, but you may be able to get the upper hand with the battle. limited amount of uh, of course, there's a multiplayer mode that too. I have. Battling fellow sushi strikers I online can that get intense. It. Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido launches simultaneously looks okay. it looks on Nintendo fun. Switch and Nintendo 3DS June 8th. More travelers, more details, and more launch info. Hello, 
This is Masashi Takahashi Octopath from Square Enix. Enix. Today, I have three news items to share with you. First, I'd like to introduce two more main characters. What lies beyond the horizon? Merchant Tressa. Meet Tressa the Merchant. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is purchase. I didn't give Which the demo enough time. I still have it. Items from um, started it. There was a lot of reading. I helped out someone in a bind. It does Simple look interesting, though. I am kind of interested in this game. And this is Alfin, the apothecary. He embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. His path action is inquire. Path action. He can inquire. worm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Next, let's talk about jobs in battle. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. For instance, if another character like the Merchant Tressa equips the Dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand oh, your strategic options. That looks kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of um, Valkyrie Profile a little bit. I know it's nothing like it, but Finally, just the look and many stuff, of you yeah. have been wondering about the release date. The game launches July, July 13th. July 13th. That's cool. Additionally, we will be offering a special edition of the game. Of course, there's a Inside, edition. you'll find a pop-up book introducing the eight characters and their places of origin, a helpful map for your adventure, a sound selection CD, and a replica coin based on the in-game currency. This special edition will be released the same day as the regular version of the game. Your comments have provided the development team with reference points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please look forward to the release of Octopath Traveler. Hmm. Yeah, that's one I'd like to check out. I need to give the what demo a better What happens when an otaku try. assassin enters the game world? The legendary gaming console, the Death Drive Mark II. Travis touched no more heroes into the game world and embarks on a rampage of epic proportions. Inside, there's an action game, racing, puzzles, a total of seven different game titles. Wow, that's different. With his beam katana in hand, he vows to exterminate every last bug he finds. Chain his simple yet exhilarating so he's attacks in a video and game. Arsenal of skill attacks to cut them down to size. A brutal boss lurks at the end of each game. Creatively combine your moves to crush them. Wow, that's cool. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for co-op multiplayer. Oh, co-op multiplayer. And partner up with the one and only Badman. Did we mention the adventure mode, which tells a new story? Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, launches exclusively yeah, on I'm Nintendo getting Switch in 2018. I was a fan of part one. In Dark Souls, every challenge is an opportunity. Plus, Dark Amiibo. Souls. I know people have been anticipating Dark Souls for the Switch. Dark Souls. A world wrought with despair and hope. In the seemingly endless cycle of death, one clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. Now you can savor your accomplishments anytime, anywhere, for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. Wow. It's Before crazy to launch, see these kind of games on a Nintendo test, system, you know? So players can try the game. If this will be your first Dark Souls experience, welcome to a brave new world. Yeah, I've actually never played Dark Souls before. Separately, the Solaire of Astora Amiibo will be Solaire released. Solaire of Astora Amiibo. With it, you can perform the popular kind of looks like the character the sun from, gesture with reckless abandon. From Dark Souls Zelda, Remastered like the Royal and Soldiers the Solaire of Astora Amiibo launch on May 25th. Available May 25th? Dude, that's like two How's weeks it going so from far? Now? No, wait a minute, sorry. Well, I have We're a quick March. reminder. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can now redeem gold points for digital redeem games and gold DLC on the Nintendo Switch system? Nintendo Switch games. Just choose to use your points during the checkout process in Nintendo eShop for Nintendo Switch or on the Nintendo website. Visit the my Nintendo 300 website coins is to learn $3. more. Okay, we have more Nintendo Switch headlines, but first, Let's shine a nice long spotlight 3, on one coins, title in particular. Please take a look. Mario Tennis. An all-star roster of Mario series favorites is ready to rally in 
full-blown tennis battles, using their most tactical, tricked-out shots ever. Mario Tennis Aces. There are more than 15 playable characters, each with their own distinct characteristics. The varied playstyles on the Nintendo Switch system allow up to four players to step onto the hey, court together. Cool. Today we'll mainly cover the essentials of tennis refined, refined tennis game. Tennis play. refined. Said that wrong. There's a variety of shots to serve up, like a basic shot, top spin, slice. You know, the only tennis game I was ever really into and was a lob um, zoom over the one for the Dreamcast. Head, just to name a few. What was it? Um, virtual tennis, I think. Why not aim and then shoot? Introducing oh, the all zone new shot? zone shot. It lets you pinpoint any spot you want to aim at using motion controls and send the ball crashing down. Zone shots are really powerful, so if you get hit by one, your racket will take some damage. Wow. If your racket takes three hits, it'll break. Racket Forcing damage? You to forfeit if it's your last one. It's an instant KO. Dude, they make it sound like a fighting game, like instant KO. And don't give up. That's kind of cool. You can stop a zone shot with a block. Return a shot with perfect timing, and you'll block, protecting your racket. It's no small feat to nail the timing just right. That's where zone speed comes zone into play. Speed. When using zone speed, the world around you moves in slow motion, allowing you to perform incredible feats like chasing down a quick shot. It's no instant win card, but it makes it a bit easier to block powerful zone shots. That's cool. Of course, you can't just spam zone shots and zone This might be the, the first match. one I actually buy. You can only initiate these they used to have the Mario Tennis at McDonald's all the time. Gauge. The energy gauge slowly fills up the longer you keep a rally going. But the fastest way to fill up your gauge is with the new trick shot. What the heck? Mario flips now or what? If a ball gets away from you, you can jump over to knock it back. It's a risky maneuver. If you don't judge the timing or distance correctly, you may waste your energy or lose a point. Mm. But if you're successful, your energy gauge will get a big boost. Fill up your gauge and it's go time. Initiate special your shot. ultimate shot, the special shot. It will eat up your energy in a big way, but this thing can really turn the tide. Wow. It may even destroy Dude, they made it into like a, in a fighting game or something. However, not even a special shot guarantees a win. There's always a chance it could be blocked, so watch out. In these intense matches, every move you make presents a risk and hopefully a reward. Your energy gauge could be the key to victory. Will you use it for an offensive zone shot? Or use it for some defensive zone speed? Let's say you go for the zone shot. Will you go for a surefire point? Or will you try to destroy now your Now all they need is some kind of online or something. Risk of getting blocked? That's cool when their rackets break. Non-stop, split-second strategies may be the best part about Mario Tennis Aces. Purists rejoice. You can also play using simple rules, which means only basic shots are allowed. Online multiplayer. Once you connect online, you can play a match with your friends or other players. Events and online tournaments will be held, allowing you to compete against other players. Wow. Matchmaking is based on your record during the event. As a participation bonus, you can get special outfits or even additional characters. There's also swing mode, which allows you to use your Joy-Con like a tennis racket. Yeah, Forehand, just like the Wii, that's cool. Backhand, slice, and lock. I won't remember all those. This mode is perfect if you want to play the game casually with your friends I and family. I probably wouldn't use that we'll mode, but it's cool to have that option, you know? Desert stage. The game Snow. offers a refined approach to tennis gameplay, focusing on deep strategic chaos. 
Plus, the story mode will offer other story twists mode, nice. to the good old game of tennis. Mario Tennis Aces launches June 22nd. June 22nd, that's cool. Not too far away. Oh, and one last thing. As we approach the game's launch, we decided to hold pre-launch pre -launch online, tournament. online tournament. That way, you can try out Mario Tennis Aces for yourself. We'll announce the details at a later date, so please stay tuned. Hmm, that's cool. We'll have more on Mario Tennis Aces in the future. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. <clears throat> Captain Toad is Captain ready Toad to explore Treasure other Tracker. systems. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is bound for Nintendo Switch. Of course. Explore a variety of tricky sandbox-style levels inspired by I Japanese box gardens called Hakoniwa. I already beat this game. You can rotate the, the camera and touch the, the screen Wii U. for a better view of hidden treasures. Yep, same and stage. this time, we've included a few Super Mario Odyssey levels too. That's cool. New now stuff. you can explore locales from a variety of kingdoms. Check out New Donk City. Mario Odyssey stage. By the way, did you know Captain Toad also appeared in Super Mario Odyssey? I did. That's how I the knew Nintendo Treasure Tro Switch Toad Tracker was coming. With a friend by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turn up cover fire, so you can enjoy tracking treasure together. That's cool, a little two-player action. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with 3D visuals and touchscreen controls. It feels like there's a box garden right in your hands. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker launches July 13th. That's cool. I don't know if I'd buy it again. Hey, who turned out the lights? What is this? Where's the switch? Over here. Turn it on. Oh, that's better. Anyways. Hmm. You want to know? Undertale on the Switch. Coming eventually. That's weird. Gaming icon crash. I heard that soundtrack was good though. The impossible isn't possible until wow, it happens. Crash Bandicoot All three on original Crash Bandicoot games are debuting on a Nintendo system for the very first time. Spin, jump and wump through the trilogy's 100-plus action platforming levels as Crash and his sister Coco. Everything from the cinematics to the animations to the lush environments has been fully updated since the wow. original games, so they'll look great on your TV or on the go. Ruin Dr. Neo Cortex's plans for world That's domination and save Tana Back in the Crash day, Bandicoot. You had Form an uneasy Sonic alliance and Sega the mad scientist on their own thing, Crash Bandicoot 2, Nintendo Cortex on their console. Back. Crash on his console, and, evil Uka Uka threw a battle across and time now and you can Bandicoot do them all on the Switch. Or Believe it or not, the Crash the Bandicoot Switch. Insane Trilogy is officially making the Wump to Nintendo Switch wow, that's July cool. 10th. I haven't gotten that, but I wonder if that's the same trilogy from the PS4. Never fear, Little Nightmares is almost here. Little Nightmares. From award-winning independent developer Tarzier Studios comes a charmingly horrific adventure like no other. The puzzle platformer Little Nightmares will trap you in the Maw, a vast vessel of mystery haunted by corrupted souls. Whoa, it's kind of like a Tim Burton game or something. The Switch contains two haunting tales in one package. In Six and the Kids' Separate Adventures, you must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters, including all past downloadable content. Each room is a cell, each resident is a threat and both present complex 3D puzzles to master. Wow, that looks interesting though. Not to mention, you can receive the Nintendo Switch exclusive in-game Paku Mask by tapping the Pac-Man amiibo figure. Oh, Paku Mask? Little Nightmares Complete Edition releases on May 18th. Never, never played that, but looks cool. Is that a new, new IP or what? South Park is coming to Nintendo Park? Switch. 
we're excited yeah. to announce that South Park The Fractured But Whole is coming to Nintendo Switch. From the creators of South Park comes this outrageously offensive superhero adventure Outrageous, that you can play outrageously anytime, offensive anywhere said, huh? for the very first time. Customize your avatar, come on down to South Park, and join Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman's superhero team. Then have Excuse yourself me. a time with a battle system as surprisingly deep as the show that spawned it. Hmm. Choose a so class, like an RPG or what? level up, build your notoriety, craft items, go on quests, and more. All past DLC will be available for purchase individually or as a part of the Season Pass. DLC 1 Danger Deck and DLC 2 From Dusk Till Casa Bonita will be available at launch. And DLC 3 Bring the Crunch will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. South Park, The Fractured But Whole, releases on Nintendo Switch April 24th. Never played any of the South Park games? Probably never will. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition Hyrule launches. Hyrule Warriors Definitive when Edition. Exactly? This is like the third time Hyrule Let's Warriors take a quick moment for a release date like announcement. been released. The heroes the Wii U, and of the 3DS, Zelda series are then about to spring into action once more. This spring. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launches May 18th only on Nintendo Switch. May 18th. Again, I bought it on the Wii U. Arms fans, I supported Nintendo. Don't miss this. Then, and now it just gets re released. The Arms League is pleased is to good, extend but an invitation to all you hardcore fans out Wii U there fans who have been playing burned. the game, enjoying all the added characters and stages, and going online to play the new Party Crash mode. Or if you supported We're happy the Wii U, to announce the Arms US and Canada Online Open. Never got into take arms. Place in the game's online it looks match cool, but again, March 8th to March just 18th. never got into it. Eight top players will then move on to the online finals March 31st. All finalists will receive a custom art piece created by the development team. We'll be streaming the event live from Nintendo of America headquarters on our official site. Stay tuned for our social channels for more details in the coming weeks. And if you're not an ARMS fan just yet, oh. well, we have good news. Nice on idea. March 31st, we'll be hosting a three-day test punch. Download this demo event from Nintendo Wii March Shop 31st on Nintendo Global Switch. Test punch. Play for free and see what you think of the world's stretchiest fighting game. On March 21st, the shot then, huh? producer Kosuke Yabuki will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers Conference. And Hisashi Nogami will present separately on the Splatoon franchise. So look out for coverage of both. Wow. That's cool. Inkopolis Splatoon News Bulletin. 2. It's update time. I have Splatoon 2 and I really like it. I haven't played it in a long time. This version April, 3. Splatoon 2 is getting an update. Version 3.0 is coming. Here's a brief and briny Wait, taste April. of what's to come. 100 new pieces of gear. That means fresh looks just in time for spring. Cool. Plus, more stages. Stages. Piranha Pit. Piranha Pit. Camp Triggerfish. Camp Triggerfish. And the hottest date spot for the hippest inklings. Wahoo World. And what? X? Rank X is here. Rank X is an extreme rank. Even higher than S+. Wow. More details are coming soon. I think I'm a rank like 25. Once you meet certain conditions, Callie will appear in Octo Canyon. I gotta get back into this game. The world of Splatoon 2 continues to evolve, so don't miss out. Now, a word from the Squid Research Lab. Check out their latest video. Squid Research Lab. Different adventure mode or what? I low key kind of like the music in Splatoon.
cool. Like an adventure mode or something. Side story. Oh, that's cool. That looks like the Sonic Adventure 2 when you're in outer space. I think it was Shadow's Shadow Stage. Octo. Splatoon 2 Octo. Full version of game required to use DLC. Expansion. I'm Hello. down, that's cool. Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content for Splatoon 2, the hefty new single player that's right, mode, it is the first Octo one. Expansion. Zelda had two of them. You'll play as the new character, Agent 8, who looks like an Octoling. She wakes up on the platform of a dark subway station without her bum, memories. Bum. Looks like some kind of shady underground test facility. In this massive subterranean world, there are 80 of these test facilities 80? connected by a subway. Excuse me. You'll depart from the station with purpose. A variety of missions await Agent 8 and her talents. Expect new stories to unfold, shedding new light on beloved characters. You may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep, and so does the bum, lore. Bum. Escape from these twisted depths, and you'll be able to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. We hope you enjoy this fresh perspective. How much is it, though? Since Octa means eight like 20 in Latin, bucks. that means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will launch this summer. This summer? After today's Nintendo bucks. Direct, Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will be available for advanced purchase in Nintendo eShop. With this you purchase, can purchase, Splatoon it 2 owners will immediately receive Octo-themed in-game gear to use in battle today. That's cool. That I'm, I'm you, probably going to pick that up, lab. not going to lie. Hopefully Splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations. You bet! That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, well, actually, we have one more announcement. One more announcement. Please take a look at our last video for the day. Splatoon? Looks like Nickelodeon, huh? The way the paint looks is cool. Here it comes. Smash Brothers. Bam! Oh, and you can see the outline of the characters. Oh, there's Bowser. Mario. Link. That looks like the Breath of the Wild Link, too. Whew. Super Smash Brothers. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. This year, 2018. Guarantee you, Smash Brothers is not coming out until Christmas time. Guaranteed. Cool, and that's it. All right, guys. So, hope you like that Nintendo Direct. And um, pretty excited. It was pretty big. Uh, definitely excited uh, for Smash Brothers, even though it's so sometime this year. Smash Brothers was cool. Luigi's Mansion. I really want to go back and play my 3DS, but it's so hard with um, the Nintendo Switch. It just looks a million times better. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching with me, guys, if you're watched, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.